the shaitan has convinced you the world would be a better place without you and I'm here to let you know that it's not the world is incomplete without someone like you the world is nothing without someone like you Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It absolutely sucks that we have to make content and videos like this because it's videos like this that really hit home for me. Someone who's struggled with suicide myself, someone who's contemplated of killing themselves and committing suicide. So this video is really close to home. This man, Shushant Singh Rajput, was found in his apartment by his housemaid, lifeless, hanging, and completely dead in what seems to be a apparent suicide. Now I want to let you know something. Some of you fools, fools out there will say stupid comments that devalue this person's life by saying things like, oh, he's not a Muslim. Why the hell should I care? Um, how is this even news, right? Like there's so many other things important happening. Why is this news? And some other fools will be like, but brother, our, our brothers and sisters are dying in Syria and Palestine every single day. Why the hell do I care about this celebrity? And it is people like you who don't see or have foresight and you're unable to see how, how, how terrible this thing is, but you're so selfish that you can't see past your own hand. When a person in such high esteem, like money, confidence, you know, you're, you're famous for God's sakes. You're famous. People know you. You're not a nobody. When you have everything in the world, how is it? How is it that you're still missing something? You have every single thing that any person on this world would want, yet you're still missing something. Something so significant that you felt like your life was worthless, that you had to take it away. Suicide is not something new. Suicide is not something that is exclusive to famous people. But the reason this, you know, grabs our attention is that you would expect a person who has a really crappy life to kill themselves, right? A person who has nothing going on for them. They failed all their exams. They are broke. Their family beats them. Like you would expect someone like that to kill themselves. But when a person is killing themselves who has everything, man, that makes you think. So my message to you very quickly, naysayers out there and just insensitive, intolerant people, is a very simple one and straightforward. And excuse me for being so direct with you, but I need you to shut, to shut the, the, hell, the up. hell up. Those who were close to him and others who commit suicide are always scratching their heads and thinking, how? This person was so happy. They were so nice. I just had dinner with them. And see, that's the funny thing about suicide, that they don't announce it. It just happens. They literally wake up with the intention that today is the day I do it. Today it is. It is. They, they don't post it on their Facebook. They're not looking for like clout. They literally wake up one day and say, I'm deciding to end the pain. You see, we're all glaciers over here looking one way on the surface, maybe even like kind of simple, but we're all deeper underneath the surface. A lot of things are going on with us and things that you and I cannot see. Mental health, unlike physical health, is something that we can't tangibly see. We can't hold mental health. You see, a person cuts their hand with a knife, you're able to physically see the pain. You know that there's physically something wrong with them. But what about those words, those speeches, those actions that cut someone in their hearts? What about the knife that's so razor sharp like your tongue that cuts someone? You can't see that wound, so we take it lightly. We're just, ah, they're being sissies. They're being soft. Okay, snowflake, calm down. Get yourself together, right? Because we can't physically see the cut, so we think that it's a whole bunch of crap. Some people see suicide as something weak. They couldn't handle it. They couldn't cut it. The world was too much for their shoulders. They can't do it. In fact, it's actually the other way around. To kill yourself, you gotta be pretty damn strong. It's unimaginable for us to understand what kind of pain a person must be going through to kill themselves. Something that goes against human nature. How much they must be suffering internally that none of us knew that the only way that they can end the suffering is by killing themselves. 
So my advice to you out there right now is simple and effective. First, I want to start off with those who are considering harming themselves. Please, if you are someone out there who has suicidal thoughts, thinking about harming themselves, or just some type of waswasa from the shaitan, that he's planted the seed in your head that the world would be a better place if you were not alive, and the shaitan keeps whispering in your ear, making that seed grow into a plant, into a weed, into a tree that you can no longer extract because its roots are so buried in your mind. If you're someone out there who is dealing with this type of feeling, Please don't keep it to yourself. Please seek professional help. Talk to someone, cry, I don't care, but contact people. If you want to contact me, your brother, SQ, contact me, Way of Life SQ, DM me on Instagram, Way of Life Questions at gmail.com. Email me, I don't give a damn. Say in your title, suicide help. Say in your DM, SQ, I'm thinking about killing myself, help. Say something, just please, please, don't act like you have to keep it to yourself. <laughs> don't act like you're by yourself, you're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone, you're not, you're, the shaitan wants you to feel alone, but you're not alone. <laughs> The shaitan has convinced you the world would be a better place without you. And I'm here to let you know that it's not. The world is incomplete without someone like you. The world is nothing without someone like you. Allah made you. He loves you. Don't think for a second that Allah doesn't love you. I know you're dealing with something that's unimaginable. It's unexplainable. People don't understand you. But killing yourself is not the solution. It's not. And what's to come after will be even worse than what you're experiencing right now. This is your test. I know it's so easy for me to say to you that it's a test. It's a test. You've heard this so many times, but I promise you, with this feeling that you have, if you can bear with it, bear with it, just stick a little longer. I promise you, the level of paradise that you will achieve the paradise status that you will obtain will be far greater than you could ever imagine. Allah is using this to purify you, to increase your levels of paradise. You're not alone. Don't think for a second that suicide is the answer because it's not. We all have been going through a lot right now because of the quarantine. And for three months or so, we all have been under a lot of stress and pressure. The same pressure that you're feeling, others are feeling it as well. So I want to advise you all to reach out to people, see how they're doing, because you asking about someone could extend their life for hours and days because they're going to feel like someone cares about them. So just reach out to people, see, see how they're doing, see how they're feeling, because that's what we should be doing for each other. And my last advice to you out there, the person who thinks they're so entitled that they can say anything that they want. Because I own a phone, I pay for my internet, I have a laptop, uh, I basically am entitled to say whatever I want. Uh, I want to let you know something, that don't think for a second that you will not be held accountable for all the disgusting and negative things that you say to people to hurt people's feelings. There's one thing to give real, actual, critical criticism to help improve a person right? But then there's other things out there that you say on purpose to get a reaction and to hurt people. Wallahi, the angels on your shoulders are already writing that down as a bad deed. Just letting you know, okay? Then on top of that, the internet, that post is going to testify against you. Your little thumbs that you think you're so clever in seeing these witty comments with will speak up against you. Your eyes that was watching you type that will speak against you. You don't understand what your comments could do to a person whose soul is crushed and broken. You, you could hurt someone by saying that. You could hurt someone. You can make a person feel small by saying that. What, what, what Islam, which Islam 
Do you follow that you think that it's okay to cyber bully or to say thing, mean things to someone? Like, what makes you feel or think that that's okay within Islam to do? I can understand a non-Muslim doing that because they might not have the, the ikhlaq, the manners, because the Messenger Wasallam was sent to perfect our manners, ours, ours manners, all of humanity, of course, but we have the message, so our manners should be the best. But unfortunately, our manners are sometimes the worst. All this really does is it exposes the hypocrisy that's in your heart. When you type things that are mean and you're trying to get a reaction from a person, you're trying to cut a person and hurt them, you're only exposing the hypocrisy that's in your heart. Um, and there's just no room for hypocrisy in Islam. Those actions not only can cause a person to want to kill themselves, right? And I'm not suggesting that uh, this actor killed themselves because of hate comments. You know, it's, it's an accumulation of a lot of things. Um, but this is at a local level where you feel that you can just say things to randomly to people, you know, just say hurtful things to people. Not only are you violating Islam and God's command, but you're also violating the Messenger Salaam's command where he explains to us very simply that if you have nothing good to say, no good speech to actually utter, then the Messenger of God, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is telling you in the nicest way possible to just shut the hell up. Hell up. And say, and say nothing. Please concern yourself with how you make people feel. Concern yourself with digital online interactions and physical interactions with people. Concern yourself with making sure that you don't walk away from an online situation or an in-person situation making the other person feel like trash. Concern yourself with other people's feelings. Not like, I don't care how they feel, but no, how you made them feel. Concern yourself with them because that's what our the Dean Dean uh, it teaches us. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it right here, guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching, spending some time with me here today. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Assalamu alaikum.